causing the wreck on that block. White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got blocked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott. Around. Spinning around. Still, Still green. green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman, trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no. the inside, Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, oh. goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth. And comes to rest. Scoring, unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney as far as who crossed the finish line first. Here is a look at the last lap. Denny Hamlin out in front of Newman and Ryan Blaney. Yeah, Ryan Blaney gets to his rear bumper. Nothing that Denny Hamlin can do other than try to tuck right into the rear bumper of Ryan Blaney, which he does an excellent job of. Newman gets a pretty good run to the turn four, but now here comes a huge run by Ryan Blaney being pushed by Denny Hamlin. He goes, tries to go to the outside, then the inside. They lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. And just lifting Newman's car up and over. And it comes to rest on its roof. Here is the second closest finish in Daytona 500 history. Denny Hamlin, the winner in both of them. This time, it is Ryan Blaney finishing second. Blaney tried the top side, tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around, and the car goes to its roof, and here's the on-rushing Corey LaJoy picking it up and over.